Your Houston Morning News with Matt Patrick continues. KTRH News Time is 817. Thanks for joining us here this morning. Also joining us this morning, Texas Lieutenant Governor David Dewhurst. Uh, Lieutenant Governor, welcome back to Houston's Morning News. Great to have you on. Well, it's always my pleasure. Good morning, Matt. Uh, Lieutenant Governor, you're going rogue. What, what's going on here? You are criticizing uh, your boss. I, I don't necessarily disagree with you, but uh, explain why you've come out and said that you you believe that Rick Perry was wrong to uh, to support the DREAM Act here in Texas. Well, I'm supporting Rick Perry for president. I didn't see myself as criticizing him, but I just have a different position. I mean, we we agree on so so many things, but in the on the case of in-state tuition for folks that are here illegally, I have a real problem with that. Um, to give a subsidy to these students who I understand who have been here for years and years that came into the, to the United States through no fault of their own, but to give them benefits is to reward folks that have been here illegally, and I, I have a problem with that. And you've seen, uh, Lieutenant Governor, that in California, uh, Governor Brown there, Moonbeam, uh, has just uh, <laughs> has just signed the Dream Act there in California. So, uh, you know, is is he wrong as well? Do you do you do you look at California, and I guess it's kind of easy and say, you know, they are also heading down the wrong path. Oh, I think so. I think at the end of the day, um, that to reward folks that have broken the law is wrong. The main the main thing, Matt, that we've got to do is 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 make a decision to seriously secure our borders. And that's not rhetoric. It's the got to be the first step. And that's why for the last, oh, two years, I've been talking publicly about the need, for heaven's sakes, to look at the number of people that we have in our Border Patrol. D- did you realize we've got two, two and a half times more police in New York City than we have in our entire Border Patrol, mm-hmm. which covers some oh, 7,500 miles? And we have seen through evidence by putting $400 million of Texans' money into the border that when we do surge, opera- surge operations, we put people on the border, nothing moves. Yeah, you know, and you're absolutely right, Lieutenant Governor. It's interesting. I, I want to talk to you more about that. The Fast and Furious debacle uh, that is Terrible. going on right now, it, it, it is horrible. And they found uh, more guns uh, that are part of this Fast and Furious debacle in the home of a uh, of a drug cartel enforcer. I want to get your thoughts on that and on the Attorney General here in just a moment, if you'll hang on with us. Sure. Back to Matt Patrick. KTRH News Time is 822. Joining us, Lieutenant Texas Governor, Lieutenant Governor uh, David Dewhurst. And Lieutenant Governor, thanks again for your time. I sure appreciate it. Delighted. Uh, the Fast and Furious debacle. They found more guns, about 35 assault rifles in the home of a cartel enforcer. Is it time, Lieutenant Governor, for us to subpoena the Attorney General and hold him responsible? Well, I think we we have to get down to the bottom of this. I was talking to some members on the House Judiciary Committee over the weekend, and they they believe that it is impossible that this operation could have gone on without the Attorney General having been briefed on this. And, of course, his initial testimony before the House Judiciary Committee was just right. the opposite. So... But but the the issue is that this is just absolutely um, insane to be sending weapons into the cartels, not having an effective way to uh, monitor it, is that is a situation in which we're uh, we're adding uh, automatic weapons into the cartels, um, as we've all read in the newspapers. One of those weapons killed the DEA agent in northern Mexico. This is a crime. And if members of the administration committed a crime, they ought to be held responsible for it. Lieutenant Governor uh, David Dewhurst uh, joining us here this morning. One final question for us, uh, Governor. We've been talking about uh, this whole uh, distraction of uh, this uh, this minister uh, saying that uh, Mormonism is a cult. He was the guy that, uh, of course, introduced uh, Governor Perry at right. the uh, Values Voters uh, Summit. Perry knew nothing of this and, and should, uh, in my opinion, not be held responsible for what I feel is a, a, a you know a, a guy's opinion and nothing more. I don't agree with uh, that uh, particular pastor. Yeah. But uh, are we getting distracted here by things that, that uh, really are not important, Lieutenant Governor? Well, obviously, faith. someone's faith is important to me, I think, to everyone as we make a decision. But at the end of the day, we want someone that can 
at least as a Republican, as a conservative. We want someone that, that can stand toe-to-toe with President Obama and win the race on November 6, 2012. And that's the real issue. Who, who's the best candidate uh, for, for the Republican Party? Who can win in November 2012? Absolutely. Texas Lieutenant Governor David Dewhurst joining us here this morning. And Lieutenant Governor, I thank you so much for your time. As always, always a pleasure having you on.